space is one of the last unexplored frontiers for humans. Many scientists and researchers have expressed their interest in exploring the stars. However, with the universe being so vast, the question is, are we ever going to make it past our solar system? Various people have given their opinions on this question, with some being that of the late Dr. Hawking saying we will be a space faring species, whereas others have said that it's very unlikely the human race will ever make it past the solar system. However, there's another group of people that have said this can be done, and they point to unidentified flying objects. With the Pentagon and Department of Defense admitting these objects are very much real, it's caused a lot of excitement around this topic. One idea that some have put forward is that whoever is piloting these crafts have managed to create the technology to travel vast distances. It's not just been in recent times that these mysterious looking crafts have been observed. In fact, they've been witnessed for hundreds of years, with various people describing different shaped objects flying in our skies. These mysterious objects have been depicted in paintings, and can even be seen in cave art. Every day these mysterious objects are witnessed, and while many of these can easily be explained as natural phenomena, aircrafts, debris, animals or other objects, some do remain a mystery. Right now, space agencies are always looking for life outside of our planet. It's also important to remember that UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object, and does not mean the object in question is alien in nature. It's only been in recent years that people have connected the two. Recently, people have been seeing mysterious objects near our sun. These usually come in the form of cubes, and amateur researchers have said they can be seen near our sun every so often. The most recent one was captured by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory allows anyone to view its entire library, over the years it's provided some incredible photographs of our sun, but what some can't explain is the strange anomalies that the cameras pick up. NASA have said that these are processing errors, but some have pointed out they seem to change shape, and can also be seen close to our sun for several hours. This has caused various theories to suggest that these objects are UFOs, and that they have a particular interest in our sun. Others have said that this isn't true and that the most likely cause is that these are either processing errors or debris. They also point out that the sizes of these objects is an issue. If they are genuine then it would mean that some of them are larger than our moon. However, theorists have said that if they're fake then why are they seen in several shots, and for hours at a time? Further saying that if it was a processing error it would have been only in a few images. These objects have been seen before and it's caused some people to give them the name of giant cubes. The Brahman experimental camera in Brazil captured this interesting light phenomena. They described it as a gigantic jet. The cameras monitor the sky above Brazil 24 hours a day, and during one of these sessions the cameras picked up on this incredible light anomaly. The researchers have said that it was caused by a storm cloud that appeared above the cameras. The lights are known as transient light events. The Brahman website described them as short-lived phenomena that occurs above storms. Interestingly, they're not seen very often as they appear and disappear quickly. The video had to be slowed down in order to see the impressive lines. These light shows also go by the name of sprites, and have been seen across the planet. NASA reported the following on their website. In 2015, European Space Agency astronaut Andreas Mogensen was on board the International Space Station, photographing the tops of thunderstorms from Earth's orbit, and he saw something very interesting indeed. Blue jets are a type of transient luminous event, flashes and glows that appear above storms that are a result of activity occurring in and below these storms. Blue jets pulse from the tops of intense thunderstorms and reach up towards the edge of space. In January 2017, researchers at Denmark's National Space Institute published their analysis of his observations in geophysical research letters. Morgensen was able to capture a clear video as the station flew over the Bay of Bengal, and they were amazed by what the video showed. Olivia Channeron, lead author of the publication, reported the following. 
during 160 seconds of video footage. 245 pulsating blue discharges were observed, corresponding to a rate of around 90 per minute. One of the blue jets observed reached 25 miles or 40 kilometers above sea level. One thing to note though is that these jets are rare, with the observatory saying that it was only in 2017 that the first registration was made in Brazil. Our planet has some of the most impressive light displays, and these can be witnessed from various countries. However, every so often someone captures something that is difficult to explain. Another light phenomena has become known as the jellyfish UFOs. Those who've seen them have described them as atmospheric jellyfish, and have said that it's unlike anything they've seen before. This unexplained phenomena has been sighted by thousands of people across the planet, including top meteorological scientists' military bases and cities. These strange lights or objects have confused many people. According to NASA, these creatures may be the result of space debris reflecting off the northern lights. Harry Purton ventured out after a storm to take some photos for his blog. This was after he saw beautiful scars from his window. He was not expecting to capture pictures of something unusual, but he was surprised upon checking his camera when he got home. He spotted what appeared to be a jellyfish UFO floating in the dark sky above Netherlands flashing out a green light. As of right now, various theories have been put forward in order to try to explain what they are. However, many can't seem to agree on what these mysterious objects are. This year hasn't been great for our planet. The fires that happened across the Amazon has caused researchers to question climate change, and what can actually be done about it. One of the most beautiful places on the planet is that of the Amazon rainforest. It's also one of the least explored places, hiding a number of undiscovered animals and vegetation. The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest. It's around 69 million square kilometers or 2.7 million square miles, and covers over 40% of the South American continent. Scientists have said that the Amazon is home to over 16,000 tree species and 10 million species of animals. They have also said there's over 390 billion individual trees in this region, so it's fair to say the Amazon rainforest is important for our planet. Not only because of the amount of trees, but because millions of creatures call this place home. Officials said at the time that there was a record number of fires in this region. Bill Gates has announced that he's backing a weather experiment called Solar Geoengineering. The idea of it is to mirror the effects of a volcanic eruption. When this was first announced, people were confused as to why this would come in handy. But the idea is that many planes around the world would spray chemicals into the atmosphere. This in turn would create a massive chemical cloud that would help bring down the temperature of the Earth's surface. Andy Parker, who is a project director at the Solar Radiation Management Initiative, said the following. Modeling studies have found that it could reduce the intensity of heat waves. For instance, apparently it could reduce the rate of sea level rise. It could reduce the intensity of tropical storms. However, this idea hasn't been welcomed with open arms, with some researchers saying that although the technology is affordable, it might cause massive weather effects and even eradicate the blue sky. Author Stephen Gardner said the following, These consequences might be horrific. They might involve things like mass famine, mass flooding, drought of kinds that will affect very large populations. Bill Gates has also announced that he's backing a company by the name of EarthNow. This company is looking at putting a number of satellites that will provide live video in virtually real time. However, it very quickly started to get criticism. The pitch for the idea stated they would create satellites that could see any corner of the globe and provide live videos with a delay of only around a second. It seems to have piqued the interest of investors, as it's already been announced that Airbus, the SoftBank Group and Bill Gates will be investing. The initial funding is said to focus primarily on maturing the overall system design, to deliver innovative and unique real-time Earth observation services. 
although it sounds like we're years away from getting this. It's actually been reported they plan to have satellites around the Earth by 2020. Some of these satellites have already been deployed, and the highly advanced satellites are set to line our constellation within a few years. As mentioned, Bill Gates is one of the investors, but the worry here is that the company has said they want to sell the service to the government and enterprise clients. Various pieces of cave art can be found across our planet, and these priceless pieces of artwork must be preserved. They give us an incredible look into the past, allowing us to piece together what the artist was trying to get across. However, every so often a mysterious piece of artwork will be discovered that even leaves researchers with more questions than answers. One of these is the petroglyphs of Kalbaktash. The image in question has been described by some as looking eerily similar to a modern-day rocket. This has caused ancient theorists to suggest that early civilizations had prior knowledge of rocketry, and were even in the early stages of using this technology. Various photographs can be found of this petroglyph next to a modern-day rocket, and it's not hard to see why people suggest that early civilizations had this technology. Interestingly, various people have come forward and said this isn't the only strange object that has been seen on artifacts. Perhaps some of the most mysterious artifacts are those of the Dropper Stones. Discovered in 1962 by a man named Chu Weming, the Dropper Stones were described as being a series of 716 circular stone discs that were dated as far back as 12,000 years ago, predating the first human civilizations. The stones were inscribed with tiny hieroglyphic-like images that detailed a strange story of possible extraterrestrial origin. This story was supposedly translated to state that a strange species of being had descended from a cloud in the sky. After realising they were unable to ascend back up to the skies, they were then forced to begin to adapt and live on the planet. The story then detailed that unaware of the strange nature of these beings and their intentions, the local Han Chinese began to hunt them down and kill them. According to the researcher Chu Weming, the images seem similar to that of modern-day UFO sightings and flying saucers. Believing these stones to be evidence of the record of ancient extraterrestrial contact, in 1962 Chu Weming published his findings to the archaeological community, only for it to be ridiculed and discredited and causing Chu Weming to go to Japan in a self-induced exile of shame. Further information surrounding the stones were described in the Soviet magazine known as Sputnik, that claimed a handful of these stones were sent from a museum to Moscow. Supposedly, a doctor describes an experiment in which the discs were placed on a special turntable, where they began to vibrate or hum in an unusual repeating rhythm, as if they possessed an electric current passing through them. Since these experiments and findings, the stones have gone missing only for them to never surface again. This could very well mean that not only were these stones legitimate in their details, and evidence of ancient extraterrestrial contact, but that efforts were made by the Chinese and Russian governments to cover up these strange artifacts, and prevent them from ever being seen again. Spinosaurus has always been a mystery to science. Every time scientists make a new discovery, it completely changes the look of the dinosaur. For those of you who have seen the third Jurassic Park movie in the incredibly popular movie franchise, you might think you are already well aware of the designs, behaviours and size of the legendary Spinosaurus, that many scientists originally believed could have rivaled against the Tyrannosaurus Rex back in its heyday. Unfortunately, the information portrayed in the movie at the time was and still is to this day incredibly unreliable, and more and more information is being discovered today that completely turns over what scientists and researchers originally thought about the creature. The most recent discovery was announced today, and it revealed that the dinosaur was a very powerful swimmer. This discovery comes in the form of its tail. Before this, not much was known about it, but this recent discovery has told researchers that its tail would have been flat, which in turn would have helped it propel itself through the water. It's been described as being similar to a sea snake's tail, which is also paddle-like. 
Researchers and scientists have said this giant tail would have helped the dinosaur move through the water. From the gathered fossils thus far, scientists believe that the Spinosaurus was roughly 41 to 59 feet in length, weighing anywhere from 7.7 .7 to 23 tons in weight given its age. Going back, it was said the species most likely stood at 14 feet tall, slightly shorter than the 15 to 20 foot tall Tyrannosaurus rex. It also had a massive sail-like spine running down the length of its back that would have allowed the creature to look much taller compared to other species of its size. Dr. David Unwin of the University of Leicester said the following, The Spinosaurus fin-like tail is a game-changing discovery for us that fundamentally alters our understanding of how this dinosaur lived and hunted. It was actually a river monster. As well as its tail, Many other features of this dinosaur, such as the high position of the nostrils, heavy bones, short legs, and paddle-like feet point to a life spent in the water rather than on land. Not only did dinosaurs dominate the land and take to the air as birds, they even went back into the water and became the top predators there as well. This discovery is what researchers were looking for. It's shown us that dinosaurs also ventured into the underwater world, and judging by the size of Spinosaurus, it would have roared on both land and water. Spinosaurus is the first dinosaur to have lived this aquatic lifestyle. Professor David Martill, Professor of Paleobiology at the University of Portsmouth said the following. One thing that still puzzles me though is why only Spinosaurus became aquatic among the dinosaurs. Why are there no aquatic iguanodons or stegosaurus? The shape of the Spinosaurus has also helped them come to this conclusion. This is due to the fact that the shape of the mouth of the Spinosaurus is perfectly attuned for the catching and eating of marine life, similar to that of a crocodile of modern times. It's now believed that this giant predator would have spent the majority of its time in the swampy regions of our planet. This discovery has only helped researchers get one step closer to truly understanding what this dinosaur looked like. So what do you make of this recent discovery? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.